Early Saturday morning, INEC officials take stock of election materials kept in registration centers of local government offices after receipt from the commission on Thursday evening. Buses are loaded with voting materials ready for distribution to various polling units across the state. Voters themselves leave nothing to chance as they troop to polling centers nearest to their homes to exercise their franchise unhindered as promised by INEC. They diligently search for their names, aware of the importance of the next 24 hours and how the burden of choosing Governor Coyote Fahimi's successor falls on their shoulders. This continues while INEC officials also continue to set up. Accreditation of voting begins at 8.30 a.m. Some of the first to vote are the aged. But it's not smooth sailing at St. Michael's Primary School in Adwikiti as an old woman is led away, frustrated owing to the failure of the beaver's machine to capture her credentials. It's a different story in Ifakiekiti, where the process seems smoother for other aged voters. She's grateful for completing the task and doesn't hide her excitement. Other priority voters are physically challenged persons who are also given all necessary assistance. Meanwhile, 73-year-old Adifemi Ugunridi is one of the first to vote at polling unit 2 in Adwikiti. He tells us his experience. Some people, if they are dead, they, are, they find their, their name. Hmm? They, the time we had to go there, one of my, uh, my daughters he would find my name for me. Others get the chance to exercise their franchise in Ikiti Central and other polling units across the state as election observers like the team from the U.S. Embassy and other groups continue to monitor the process for the rest of the day.